I was on my way to New York, and uh, I was going to um, uh, pack up, go to New York, and a friend of mine had just opened a theater called the Gallery Stage here in Los Angeles on Santa Monica. Santa Monica and Crescent Heights are used to be a V shape, and they made a theater in the round. And um, he said, before you go, would you please open in on the town? I said, well, for how long? He said, well, open for us, do two weeks, if, if we run that long. I said, oh, okay. So I came here instead, and I opened, and of course then I had a reaction from studios all over the place, of which I had no idea what it was about. And a friend of mine said, you should reply to the studios uh, because, Gene, that, that's what this town is all about. I said, well, I'm going to New York. He said, well, just respond. I said, what? He said, I have a cousin who is an agent. I said, what's his name? He said, I don't know, but I'll find out. <laughs> and it was <laughs> a man named Lou Sherrill who acted and looked just like his name, Lou Sherrill, you know. And uh, so he answered a lot of the studios. He had clients under contract to Universal, so that was the easiest place to put me. I said, I think... I think you're best off at Universal. That's farther, you know. They did horse pictures. <laughs> they were just beginning to do what they call some prestige pictures because somebody had done a picture of some esteem and they got no, some kind of, of notoriety out of it. So they decided they'd do two or three prestige pictures and I would be good for that. Long story short, I said, fine, okay, very good, I would do it. And then they notified me one day that I had to start a film and that I would have to give up the theater. And I said, I can't do that. I promised them I'd do that for two or three weeks. I said, well, you're under contract to us now, and, and you, you have to do that because we want to prepare you for the film. I said, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> what do you want? I'm prepared. They said, we would prefer that to be for you to, to give your notice, and then uh, we will begin our, our, our uh, destiny, our, our trip at Universal. And I, so I gave my notice. And my first picture was with Maureen O'Hara <laughs> and the redhead from Wyoming. <laughs> I mean, Westerns became such, a, anybody in the business who's lived long enough who has done Westerns, will tell you that, God, how I miss doing a Western. There was something so, so clean. There was something so believable. It was black and white, good, bad, black hat, white hat, and on, on all the people in the church. It was just an incredible experience. And Maureen O'Hara was beginning to feel the pressure of time, so she, <laughs> automatically knocked out three scenes that we had together. And we did have a talk one day, and I said, I really like you, Miss O'Hara, and I've seen all of your pictures, of which I had not seen one. But however, I lied. I learned to do that early on <laughs> in this business. Be sincere when you lie. <laughs> Be very sincere. But I did like her, and I said, why would you, why would you not want me to be in a scene with you? I did not know at that time. When you were 30, you were through in this town, you know. Uh, I, I mean, that certainly hasn't been my experience, but at that time, that's what it was, because I made her look older. And I was asking her advice in the scenes as the young ingenue, you know. So anyway, I, I said, I just, you know, I, I think you're very pretty, and I just think it's an honor to be in this film with you, and it's, I, I just, I'm so sorry we're not doing the scenes together. From that point on, because she always looked at you very skeptical, you know, like, is, is she lying to me or is she telling me the truth kind of thing? And I really wasn't lying. You know, I had seen her in one, one with my cousin Pasadena, some film, I forget what it was. From that point on, she would take my show and she says, if you can't see the camera, it can't see you. Now look at the lens, look at the lens. She guided me through from that point on by just that moment of being honest with her in a fibbing sort of way. And I came to, I, I adored that woman because what she did was gave me my early training about film. And uh, 
didn't get to do the scenes with her, but I learned a lot. My first experience, Red Hair from Wyoming, paid. At that time, uh, we had um, Rock Hudson, he was under contract. He and I were making the same amount of money. I was prestige, he was gonna be a star. <laughs> Well, but what still, a great that you guy. made what a great guy he was. The fact that you were making the same amount of money oh. as Rock Hudson, oh yes, and you were both in the system. Oh yes, oh absolutely. I'm just you know, and he was a, a one of all of us, you know, and uh, he had quite a few pictures to do uh, before he became uh, the person he was, and uh, but just as divinely grounded uh, in friendship and. Reality, I, I, I highest respect for that man, highest respect, he was an incredible guy.